I'm here with Dana Hovig, the Director for Integrated Delivery at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Thanks so much for joining me. Hi, Ada. Let's talk about resilient and responsive health systems. What does that terminology mean for you? I think resilient and responsive health systems are personal. Uh, often we take an engineering approach or a systems approach to these sorts of things, but, but it's personal. It's the place that you go to for services that you trust, uh, that you uh, know cares about you. I have a six-year-old daughter, and knowing that there's somebody I can call uh, when she has a fever uh, and, and is responsive to me is what a responsive health system is all about. And uh, that's what people around the world um, deserve. What specific actions do you think can be taken to make health systems more resilient and responsive? Well, I, I think, first of all, focusing on the person and starting with his or her needs, uh, uh, um, particularly the low-income people that we, we, we aim to serve, is, is important. Uh, second of all, I think that uh, we need better measures of what success looks like. Right now, uh, this is a conference without effectively a bottom line. We don't know um, how to measure whether health systems are stronger and more resilient or not, so we actually don't know if the world is getting better for women around the world in terms of a place they can go to and they can trust. So we need better measures of resilient and responsive health systems. What about uh, health systems research um, and how that role that that plays um, in making health systems more resilient and responsive? So uh, 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 in terms of to, to improve health systems and make them more responsive, we have to understand what we call at the Gates Foundation, the black box of service delivery. This is the, the place where services are delivered for women, and we don't understand the translation of inputs of better infrastructure, more people, uh, uh, better IT systems to outputs. We don't know how inputs are translated to outputs, and so understanding what happens inside that black box of service delivery is really critical to responsive and resilient health systems. Specifically when it comes to Health Systems Global, um, its partners, its members, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, what can you specifically do uh, to make health systems more resilient and responsive? The, so the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is really interested in helping countries to learn from each other. Uh, we know that the, the solutions are not in Seattle or in London or in Washington, D.C. The solutions are actually in the hands of practitioners, people on the front lines actually delivering services. We think that, for example, low-income countries can learn from low-income countries. We think middle-income countries can learn from low-income countries. We think that the OECD countries can learn from low-income countries and vice versa. We think that, that sort of there's a richness to the learning across countries, across geographies, across these economic silos. Well, hopefully that's what this conference is all about. Thank you, Ada. Thank you.